Good afternoon. Today I will be discussing the environmental issues. Um, our planet, our only home, is facing untranscended challenges due to human activities. However, amid the doubting challenges lies a glimmer of hope, a path toward restoration and harmony with nature. Now let's talk about the establishing the problem. Let us first acknowledge the gravity of the situation. Climate change, biodiversity loss, deforestation, pollutions. They are not mere buzzwords. They are the stark realities threatening our existence. Rising temperatures, melting glaciers, erratic weather patterns, the signs of environmental degradation are all around us. But Perhaps the most alarming aspect is the loss of biodiversity. Every spe species, loss is not just a, a statistic, it's a thread removed from the intricate tapestry of life on Earth. Next is shifting perspective. Yet, the dispers or the amid, their rooms for optimism. We are witnessing paradigm shift in how we perceive our relationship with the environment and also no longer can be can we afford to see nature as merely a resource to exploit but um as a partner to cherish and protect this ship is perspective in crucial for its form the foundation of our journey toward environmental restoration now let me give you some example of environmental uh, restoration. Um, first, let us illustrate this journey with the some inspiring example of environmental restoration efforts around the world. First is the the Great Green Wall Initiative across Africa, uh, Africa's um, Sahel region. The Great Green Wall Initiative aims to combat the for. Um, desertification by um, by planting a belt of trees stretching over 8,000 kilometers um, also this ambitious project not only restores degraded or the degraded land but also provides livelihoods um, to the local communities and also fostering um, resilience in the face of climate change Second is the urban green space. In bustling cities like in Singapore and also um, eh, um, uh, the urban planners here uh, there have the integrated green spaces seamlessly into the urban landscape. Um, These green lungs not only mitigate pollution but also promote mental well-being and community cohesion. Um, and also reminding us to our intrinsic connection to nature even in the heart of concrete jungle is um, rewilding projects from the Scottish Highlands to the Yellowstone National Park um, rewilding projects are restoring ecosystem by reintroducing keystones um, species like wolves and uh, what they call is a beavers. Um, these efforts not, not only revive lost habitats but also enhance biodiversity and ecosystem resilience, um, demonstrating the power of nature to heal itself if given the chance. Lastly is the individual action. Um, this is most important uh, but Restoration efforts cannot be the sole responsibility of governments and organizations. Every individual has a role to play, whether it's reducing our carbon footprints, supporting sustainable practices, or advocating for environmental protection. Our collective action can be a ripple outward and also catalyzing positive change on the global scales. In conclusion on that, um, the path of environmental restoration is not easy. Um, it is not easy as one, but it is a journey worth embarking on. 
it requires us to maintain our relationship with nature to recognize that we are not just separate from the environmental or the environment but deeply interconnected with it as we stride toward a more sustainable future let us draw inspiration from the resilience of nature and the collective strength of humanity um together let us uh so the seeds of change uh, and nature, a world where human and nature coexist in harmony. And also, let's remember that the choices we make today will shape the world of tomorrow. Let us, um, let us choose a wisely and walk hand in hand with the nature toward brighter, greener future. Yeah.